welcome to traffic in this video i am going to discuss about the marks distribution for practical examination for class 9 computer science seba board for annual examination you will required ms access database and c programming from ms access you will get one question there you have to make a table and you have to enter records it will be a simple one and uh, for c programming you have to do two programs one will be simple program like a uh, addition of two number or area of something like that and one more program means uh, two program will be there one program will come for seven mark another one will be eight, eight marks so it will be seven plus eight fifteen and the rest five mark for viva or oral so together 30 marks and you have to pass in practical then only you will pass in theory practical pass mark is 9 and for theory examination you will not required chapter 3 and 11 11 is practical one only but this is for half yearly you don't require 3 in 3 there are 3 parts uh, word powerpoint and excel so these 3 chapters you will not require for annual examination Remaining chapter 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all chapters are required and this time, this time nothing is omitted. So you have to prepare everything from start to end for each chapter. Remember it. Now I am going to show you how you can do the practical work for your practical examination. First we will try the MS Access which came in 2022 here is the question on the screen make a table inventory in ms access that contain the following fields field name data type here field name and data type which is uh, at the first line this is header or this is heading this part you don't have to write after that item name num data type is number item name text description item color price number of copies after that you have to enter five records so first we'll learn how we can do this first we have to open access for that we'll go here start all programs and microsoft office after that here we'll get microsoft office access 2007 14 15 16 whatever installed in your school computer so we'll click here this is the interface of office 2007 so create a new database we'll click on blank database and will give name here will give uh, you can give your own name here or we can give this one practical practice or you can in uh, school you can write your name after that practical like practical rahul practical seema something like that after that create now this uh, view will appear this view is known as data set view we have to design the table in design so we will go to view and change it to design and as the table name should be inventory here instead of table 1 we will write inventory i n v e n t o r y last year as the details of items are given i think this year you may have employ or student table the process is same no need to worry so click ok now at first by default id will be written here we will remove the id okay after removing we will write here item number remember the first line we don't have to write so we'll write here item number and data type we will select as number we will select from here number we don't have to write data type okay we have to select then item name this one will be text by default it is text only we no need to select anything then item description item description after that item color then item price then number of copies here you can see one full stop is there but while we are writing column name we cannot give this so we'll give uh, write this column name without the full stop number of copies 
and here the last two are numbers so we'll select item price as number and number of copies as number now our first part is done we have created the table now we have to enter five records and record can be entered only in data sheet view for that we'll change the view again we'll click on view and after that we'll select data sheet it will ask us to save the table we'll save the table we'll give yes now we have to enter the record as we have to enter five first we'll write item number one two three four five now we have to uh, write item name suppose it is a smartphone tablet laptop desktop then watch after the description we will write smartphone suppose this is a android one android tablet suppose this is a ipad so we will write ipad here Dex, uh, laptop is from hp suppose and desktop suppose it is potato one potato pc means a computer which is assembled means all the parts are from different companies watch suppose it is from titan and here we'll write color will give us random color red blue green yellow white now item price smartphone let it be 18000 tablet 29000 laptop 55000 desktop 34000 watch 900 number of copies will give any random number 5 uh, 6 5 8 9 2 so our first question work done now this will save and we can close it now next time if your teacher asks that open the database open the file which you have created again you will go to the same process all programs then uh, microsoft office access and at top you will get the file which you recently created just click here and here option will be there click on the option then enable ok and just double click on the inventory table this is your practical one ok now we are going to see how we can do the C programming practical here question number 2 write and execute a program to find average of two number so first we have to open any C compiler whatever have in your computer in school computer as we have a code block so I am going to open code block here code blocks after opening code block we'll click on empty file here new file then empty file and language we will select as C C++ at first we have to write header file so include standard std io dot h then we'll need a main function so int main after that as we have to find the uh, average of two numbers and it is not mentioned here whether we have to take the number from user or ourselves so number we are giving ourselves so we'll take first two variable int a b and average or abc now we will give the value a equal let it be 8 and b equal let it be 10 after that we will write abc equal inside the bracket a plus b and we will divide it by 2 because there are two numbers semicolon now we will display the result so printf we will write average equal percent d and the value of d is available in avz variable so avz and the last line will write return 0 so this is the program 
after typing the program we have to save it we'll click on the save icon and we'll give a name here also i'm giving name as practical practice and save type is c c++ click on save after that we have to compile the program code that will go here build and select build and run or f9 in shortcut so here coming average equal 9 so this way we can do this program now we'll come to the next question write and execute a c program to calculate the area of a circle first we have to take a new file from here file empty file and first we will change the language to C, C++. Now we'll write the header file first. So include stdio.h, then main function int main. After that, we'll take the variable. Here, our variable will be all float. So float will take pi, r, and area. As we have to calculate the area of a circle, so area. Now we will write give the pi value ourselves. So pi equal 3.14. Now we'll take the radius from the user. For that we'll write print f enter radius. and now we have to accept the value so scan f and here we'll write percent d or percent f as we are accepting float value and it is stored in m percent r now we'll write the formula for area so we'll write area equal it's pi r square so pi into r into r now we'll display the value of area so printf here write area is percentage f and it is stored inside the variable area and the last line will write return 0 and semicolon now the same process first we'll save the file click on save we'll give the name, name is practical practice 1 then save you can give any name and after that we'll have to compile the program so we'll go build menu and build and run asking us to enter the radius let the radius be 14 so the area is 615.44 so this way we can do this program now we will come to the question number 4 here 3 and 4 are options you have to do any one write and execute a c program to find the area of a rectangle here we have to find the area of a rectangle so first the same process language c c++ now we'll have the header file so include stdio.h int main then here we'll have the variable int l for land b for bread area to store the area and lb will take it from the user so printf will write enter the land slash n and we will write scanf and read the number scanf here we will write percentage d because we are accepting integer that's why d and will store inside variable l and semicolon now we'll copy these two line okay first select after that right click and copy select right click or we can go here also edit menu copy now next line again you can go here edit menu paste now instead of land we'll write here bread and here instead of l we will give b now after that we have to find out area so area equal 
L into B. Then uh, we have to display the area. So print F. The area is percentage D, and it is stored inside the variable area. And the variable name always should be out of the inverted comma. Remember it. Semicolon. Last line. Return zero. Now we have to save the program. Click on save. Give the file name as anything, whatever you like. I am giving here practical practice two. Save. And we'll compile the program. Build menu. Build and run. Enter the land. Let it be eight. Enter the bread. Let it be seven. The area is fifty six. So this way we you can do the question number three. This was the solution for the question paper of two thousand twenty two. And for Viva you can learn any type of short questions, especially for the practical from the practical related chapters and even chapter one also. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.